artery and uh, vein ulcers can occur separately or they could really occur simultaneously. And by that, I mean that oftentimes in patients who have arterial disease and arterial ulceration, there's also a venous component and vice versa. And we call that combined arterial and venous insufficiency. Specifically regarding venous ulcerations, there's a typical location and a typical look uh, for that. And usually it's above the ankle bone on the inside of your leg. And that is more likely going to be a venous ulceration. And that's usually a result of several uh, problems, one of them being a venous insufficiency. Arterial ulcerations, which specifically are related to poor blood flow, sometimes in the patients with diabetes and patients who smoke regularly, those are usually gonna be on the toes or on the feet. Uh, other symptoms that can be related to both arterial and venous ulcers is pain. Venous ulcers can be more painful than arterial ulcers, but both have the ability to be pain. And it's very difficult often to tell the difference. And a podiatrist, vascular specialist are really key in the diagnosis and further treatment options and diagnostic imaging type testing.